If you are looking for a good 3D computer aided design, engineering and manufacturing software, then you will be interested in two popular ones known as Inventor and Fusion 360. They are both similar and different in many ways, but they can definitely be useful for you to work on your projects. Inventor is a 3D mechanical solid modeling design software developed by Autodesk to create 3D digital prototypes. This software enables users to produce accurate 3D models to aid in designing, visualizing, and simulating products before they are built. Fusion 360 is an excellent tool for precise modeling of 2D and 3D objects, but you can do much more with it as well, such as animating your designs, rendering objects, simulating loads, and so on. A lot of designers, including hobbyists, small and large companies, use the platform for designing and prototyping their products. One of the differences between those two software is that Fusion 360 is a cloud-based 3D software, as opposed to Inventor, which operates like most software would. Also, it is important to note that Inventor operates only on Windows, while Fusion 360 operates on both Windows and Mac. Inventor is an old established software that was created in 1999. It was made to help designers and engineers to finish heavy lifting design and manufacturing projects because it is more stable and suitable for creating assemblies with thousands of pieces for complex machines like cars, motorcycles, trains, or anything else you can think of. On the other hand, Fusion 360 is a much newer software that was released in 2013 by Autodesk to provide a simpler and cheaper solution for design and engineering projects that everyone can learn and afford. Inventor and Fusion 360 actually have two different workflows and design approaches. I would say Inventor is like SolidWorks, because it deals with separate files for parts, assemblies, and so on. In Fusion 360, however, bodies and components are generally all created and dealt with as one entity. It's like designing parts from the assembly level, so depending on what you want to do, you will find Inventor or Fusion 360 better for you. If you want to create quick parts for printing or prototyping, you will be better off using Fusion 360, but if you want to design machines with multiple parts, moving components, fixings, screws, and so on, Inventor might be your best option. Fusion 360 can do a lot of things that Inventor can do, however it's going to be different or difficult depending on where you're coming from. And of course it also depends on the complexity of the project, but overall Inventor is a more advanced piece of software that allows professionals to get anything done no matter how complex it is. Also one of the differences between Fusion 360 and Inventor is the interfaces, and especially the organization and style of the interfaces themselves. Inventor has a traditional organization of the toolbars and menus, while Fusion 360 has a more modern organization setup with its palette styles, menus, and toolbars. The learning curve. When it comes to whether Fusion 360 or Inventor is easier to learn, I would say it depends on where you are coming from. For those who never learned any design or engineering 3D software, learning one of those two depends on how much time and effort you will put in the learning process and practice. Learning the basics is going to be easy, but as you make more progress and try to create complex stuff, things will probably become difficult. On the other hand, if you have experience with software such as SolidWorks or Inventor, and you want to switch to something like Fusion 360, you will find something's different and intuitive or hard to do as some designers say, especially if you are used to working using a certain workflow, but at the end of the day you will get used to it because you have the experience. And as we said before, they are both great, and overall there are more tutorials and courses for Inventor compared to Fusion 360 because it was around for a longer period of time. Pricing and licensing. Both software packages require paying for subscription on a monthly or yearly basis, and Autodesk offer a free 30-day trial for both Fusion and Inventor. The annual Inventor subscription is $2,085 per year, and the annual Fusion 360 subscription is now $248, which is a special offer from the usual $495. As we can see, Inventor seems to be a good choice for companies and professionals, while Fusion 360 is more suitable for people who don't have a lot of experience and small companies who can't afford expensive software, but it is being used by professionals nonetheless. If your primary goal is to do things on the personal level, Fusion 360 is your best option. And if you're looking for a job or to become more marketable, you're probably better investing time with Inventor in addition to using Fusion 360. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. 
Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.